I'm Adelaide. And I'm Rev. And this is Tyra Cub News. Before we get into the show, we have a few announcements. Coming up this Friday is our very own special Halloween episode. Also remember to check out the costume guidelines before coming to school. I'm so excited to see what everyone's costumes are. To start off our episode, we have ASB announcements with Silas and Rose. Hi, I'm Rose. And I'm Silas. And together we're... ASB Announcements! Hey SPMS, Halloween is a coming up, and you know what that means for this Friday? Drum roll, please. Our Halloween spirit day is almost upon us, and it's going to be absolutely spooktacular. For this spirit day, dress in your beautiful Halloween costumes to school. However, there's a few guidelines you have to follow. Nothing in your costume can interfere with learning, and face coverings are still required as usual. Another thing is that you can't bring weapon props to school or clothing that depicts drugs or alcohol. Things like makeup and hair must be done at home, and accessories like hats and sunglasses must be taken off in class. When planning a costume, please consult the posters on Google Classroom and around campus, and if you have questions as to whether or not your costume is appropriate, consult the school staff. In a galaxy far, far away, there were some ASB announcements for the school event coming November 5th. Tickets are being sold at a table in the quad at lunch in front of the new building. Bring your permission slip with all of the information filled out, along with $5 in cash or a check made out to SPMS ASB for this week, or $6 for the week leading into the event. It's going to be spectacularly fun! Bye! Bye! SPMS! The fall event looks like it's going to be tons of fun. Make sure to buy your tickets before time runs out. As you all know, the wiffle ball tournament has started. The first ever game was last Tuesday, October 19th. Here's some footage from the games. I'm excited to see how the tournament plays out. And more in sports, here's Rome with SPMS Volleyball and football match results. Comes to this week's recap of sports. First off, 8th grade flag football played Oak Avenue and won with an ending score of 42 to 16. 7th grade flag football played their final game against Oak Avenue and won with a score of 12 to 6. Great work. 8th grade volleyball played La Cañada on Monday and won. On Thursday, they played their final game against Oak Avenue and won the game, concluding after three sets. SPMS came out on top, winning the final set with a score of 15 to 13. Go 8th graders! 7th grade volleyball also played their last game against La Cañada and Oak Avenue and won. That's all the sports news for this week. Go SPMS! Oh, I nailed it. Congrats on the wins, Tiger Cubs. Here's our News Minute and weather report for the week. Halloween is upon us, and many people are questioning whether or not to do trick-or-treating this year or keep the children at home. If you are going out, be sure to wear your mask indoors or in crowded spaces and wash your hands regularly. In California news, our fire in drought-stricken state has been hammered by heat wave after heat wave and might finally be getting a breather next week on Monday, as there is a 100% chance of rain today. We will be seeing more rain and colder temperatures as the fall and winter season kicks into the higher gear. In school news, last Thursday of our school, I participated in the Great Shakeout Earthquake Drill, preparing our school if the event of an earthquake would occur. Coincidentally, a small earthquake did occur in LA earlier that morning, and another, slightly larger earthquake, woke a lot of us up on Sunday morning. Remember to stock your earthquake kit and have an emergency plan for if you're at home. Sports news, the Lakers have started their season with an early loss to the, to the Golden State Warriors. As for the Dodgers, they crushed the Braves in an 11-12 victory in what was supposed to be a bullpen game for the Braves, which turned out to be a massacre with A.J. Pollock and Chris Taylor both hitting over two home runs during the game collectively gaining 10 out of the 11 points for the Dodgers. 
In a stunning victory, despite a good run last week, the Braves knocked out the Dodgers this weekend, bringing their season to an end. For more in sports, check out our new sports podcast, Hot Takes, with Massimo and Patrick. It'll be available this week on our YouTube channel, our Instagram page, and on the Broadcast Journalism School website. I'm Tiger, and this has been the Weekly News Minute. Rain, finally! Here is a new segment, Movie Reviews with Rev. Today, I'll be reviewing Hairspray. Hi, and welcome to Movie Reviews. In this segment, I review old, new, and highly rated movies. The first one I'm reviewing is one of my personal favorites, Hairspray. Hairspray is a timeless classic that has been redone multiple times, but the most popular version is from 2007. The plot of the story follows Tracy Turnblad, portrayed by Nikki Blonsky, as she is challenged with the topics of integration, overnight superstardom, and changing the future. Tracy is confronted by multiple characters such as Amber Von Tussel, Brittany Snow, and Velma Von Tussel and Michelle Pfeiffer who don't want her to ruin the utopia that they've created. Other characters include Penny Pingleton, Amanda Bynes, Tracy's best friend, and Link Larkin, Zac Efron, the love interest. John Travolta does an amazing job as Edna Turnblad. James Marsden is fantastic at illustrating Warney Collins, as well as Queen Latif as Motormouth Maybell. Hairspray is a 91% Rotten Tomato rating, but personally, out of 10 stars, I give them a 9.5. That's all for today. Thank you for your time. Seems like a great movie. Tiger Cub Tunes put together a great show for us. Let's check it out. Okay, Toby. First day of new school. You got this. All right, science. Now what am I supposed to do? What are you looking at? Oh well, uh... Oh well, uh... I don't have time for this! What do you want? I don't know where PE class is, can you help me? You don't know where PE class is? Everyone knows that! That PE is held in the gym! Yes, the gym! Thank you, Mr. Ant. Yes, I think we will go along swimmingly. Yep, this is the place. Ah! That little. All right, who opened the door? Oh, land animal gym is on the field. Uh, well, that's that. Uh, good day, sir. Uh. interest you in a very delicious hamburger. Only $20. Uh, no thanks. You sure? This is extremely special. Oh, oh he's it's gone. On it. So, how is middle school treating you? I don't know. I was tricked into opening the gym by some ant. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that sounds typical of him. We just call that guy the ant. I would stay away from him if I were you. He's just evil. Huh. I put salt on top of the pancakes. This is going to be a long year. Man, that was awesome.
awesome. Well, that's it for this episode, Tiger Cubs. As usual, we will be closing out with bloopers and credits. I'm Adelaide. And I'm Rev. And this was Tiger Cub News. Bye! Bye. I am. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jarvis Wood with On The Bench, but we're not On The Bench with Jarvis <laughs> Wood. Today I'm going to be interviewing So first off, I was wondering what you what your thoughts were on the name change for Facebook. And I was wondering if you had any ideas for what the do for what the new name would be. Really, really, really. That's crazy, dude. Joey, are you okay? I'm good. Okay, let's get. Ah! Out of my seat. That is my seat. Tell them to stop hiding. Stop this room.